What are the top five Air Jordans that you must have in your collection? That is a question that I get often and I want to see what you guys think as well. Don't forget to drop a comment down below as we go throughout this video. It's going to be a good one. If you don't have these, you're sleeping, bruh. You got to go pick them up. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, my name is DJ. And if you didn't know, this is the DNA show. If you aren't subscribed by now, what are you doing, bruh? Come on, man. Join the family. Let's talk kicks. Let's have fun. And let's have a good time. Today in this topic, obviously you could tell from the title, you already know what it is. We're gonna be talking about the most essential Jordans that you must have in your sneaker collection. The only problem is there's so many key shoes that you gotta have. So I'm like having a hard time and I picked out five shoes and then I went and asked the people, I said, what do you guys think about about this as well so I'm gonna pop this up here on the screen and you can see what other people are thinking and you got different comments Jordan 1's 4's 3's 6's 5's 11's and a lot of the key components to the colorways that dropped when Jordan was wearing them different things like that I'm gonna tell you guys what I think unfortunately I have 10 pair of shoes down here and I know there's plenty more than that for keys to have in your collection but these alone are just amazing. It's gonna be kind of one of those this or that type of thing. It kind of lets you pick. That way it's like a little bit more leeway because I already know everybody's gonna be like, oh, you forgot this color, oh, you forgot. Right, I know, it's hard. We're gonna start from numerical order, starting at one and working our way up in the Jordan Retros because obviously the OG Jordan one came first. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We have the two very key essentials. You have a bread, and you have a royal now these two right here are obviously must-haves you see these on a lot of people's feet the sneaker never gets old but there is a third one that i personally think has to go into the equation because it's another classic another og and the value is always there these three are always going to hold their value they're always going to look great they're going to rock well they're going to retro again you're going to get another pair these are staples to the sneaker collection so we'll pop up some prices here for the three different sneakers and kind of let you guys look at them just for my size 13 now obviously this is going to vary throughout but as you can see they're pretty decent and i think for the most part, you're going to see a lot of these shoes that I select today are going to be around that early 300, maybe close to 400, you know, late 200 type price. So it'll be around there and those will be kind of the essentials. But the number one for sure is going to be the Breads, the Royals and the Chicago's. And I, I think I'm going to leave that one up to you guys to decide. Me personally, I'm going with Bread 1 first. If you have to have one, it's going to be the Bread 1. Number two sneaker is going to be the Black Cement 3. This shoe right here is amazing. I'm a size 13, so the White Cement 3, obviously another classic. He won the dunk contest, all those things. But I think the Black Cement 3 really holds its place because it looks really well. I see a lot more people wearing the Black Cement 3s than I do the White Cement 3s. Luckily, they released a pair with the Nike Air, which is another great thing. And I think this shoe is just amazing on foot. Obviously the paint will crack uh, over time, but that's something you're gonna have to worry about when that time comes. But when it comes to this, having an essential in your collection, especially if you're not gonna wear it, but I think wearing and non-wearing, this is a must have in your sneaker collection. On to selection number three. Now this one is very controversial because I personally know that this one is for me, but this is also another classic, another must have. I have the OG versions, I have the retros, the second retros, the third retros, all those different things. Again, like I said, over the past couple years, they were releasing these with the Nike Air. So for you to go and pick these up right now at these prices, I would say it's pretty decent. Obviously, if you could have got it for retail, that would have been a lot better. I don't think they'll go up too much in value simply because they do tend to retro these type of sneakers. So it's kind of knowing the threshold of the shoe and saying, hey, is it worth getting it at this price now? Is it gonna go up a little bit more over time? When's the next time they're gonna retro it? You gotta take a lot of those things into factor. This right here is a major key. Major key alert. Selection number four. This one holds near and dear to my heart because I was born in 1991. Get a calculator, do the math. This shoe right here is the shoe that Michael Jordan had won his very first championship in so when it comes to the infrared six this is the banger for me this is obviously like up there like honestly this is my number one favorite shoe of all time but that's a whole nother topic oh my gosh these things are crazy they got the 3m on them and again like i said we are in a very fortunate time right now with the nike air dropping on the back of the shoes they're hitting us with the og cuts on the ones the nike air tags on the tongues nike air on the back this is a perfect time to be picking up all the sneakers that you love and desire and especially the essentials the classics the retros that are dropping now as we go who's to say they won't start putting Jumpman back on the shoe 
and then you're going to be mad that you get, didn't get the pair with the Nike Air. Go ahead and pick these up right now when they're at a good price because they're kind of close to retail, which is a really good time to get the shoe. Who's to say this shoe won't go up to $300, $400 over time? I know sixes aren't hitting right now. It's a classic. It's OG. It's a must have. And number five, obviously you guys already know what it is. Let's get right into it. The Air Jordan 11. Now I picked three different colorways for you guys just to kind of choose because a lot of people have said the Space Jam, the Concord, the Bread. Even I could grab the Cool Gray too if you want. Columbia, you name it. There's so many options. But these ones for me are the bangers. And what I'm gonna tell you my number one Air Jordan 11 is, you already know it, the Bread 11. And why do I say this? I don't know if it's because they're all actual original Bulls colorways or what it is, but I personally think it's the red bottom. The red bottom has been a seller for me ever since I was a little kid and it just hits so close to home. Having these shoes back in the day, still having an OG pair now, knowing that the sole is not going to yellow makes me oh so happy. 10, 15, 20 years from now, the shoe is still gonna be red on the bottom. It's not gonna be yellow, discolored, all that other stuff. So for me, when I think about rocking it, it's dark, it's black. You could get it dirty and just clean it up real quick. Everything about this shoe is just perfect to me. So now it's time for me to show you guys my personal top five out of these 10, 11 shoes, whatever it was. And then y'all can make y'all decisions. Here we have it, my top five of these shoes. You got the breads, you got the black cements, you got the breads, you got the infrareds, and you got some more breads. Notice black and red, bread, black cement, those colorways, all that stuff is very, very similar. This is it right here. The top five that you, I got a thumbnail with that right now. <laughs> but yeah, man, these are my top five sneakers you gotta have in your collection. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Was I missing something? Did I not mention any classics? The Jordan 5, amazing. You got the metallic, you got the fire red. I mean, there's some good stuff in there. I, I know I'm missing stuff. 12, 13, 9, 8, 7, 6. Four, three, two, one, all that stuff. I know, I get it, bro. There's a lot of shoes, but these are my top five. So let me know what y'all think. If you guys have any other top fives that you guys would like to see, please drop a comment down below. Hopefully this answers the question for all the people that have been asking me because I get this question a lot. So now I can just send you the video. You can watch it. It all makes sense. All those type of things. My name is DJ. It's time to go. Stay tuned for more videos coming because we're coming with that hot fire. You already know what I'm talking about, man. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I'm out. <laughs>